Hello everyone, this is Joe the Orange today, fucking, you know, not tomorrow. <laughs> Just screwing up my intro. Hello everyone, this is Joe the Orange. Yes, I'm doing a second take, alright? Let's do a third one because I interrupted myself like a cunt. Hello everyone, this is Joe the Orange. And today I'm going to be playing Scorpion slash Engineers slash Light Artillery. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep calling them Scorpions. And I'm going to be playing them on Sola. And for you guys that don't know, the first Scorpions you do get is Tier 5 Scorpions. And you may be wondering, oh, how come you didn't go to the Tier 8 ones? Well, if you watched my previous videos, there's a good reason for that. Because Catapults are fucking buggy as shit. I can't be bothered playing something that damn buggy. So I leveled up to the Tier 5 ones, and we're, this is my first three games, so we're just going to see how it rolls. And the first thing I learnt is they have this fire arc. I thought they would be able to swivel like a catapult, but apparently not. So I was going to shoot the guys down the bottom. And then I found out that uh, they can't just swivel and shoot shit. That's the first thing I learnt. So this first game is all a learning experience. I'm trying to shoot down cliffs and shit. I'm tr figuring out, oh, this fire arc is actually not <laughs> 360 degrees. And uh, it takes me a while, I'm not even sure when I figure out that there's actually a auto-fire button, like fire out will button. So I'm manually clicking shit, the archers disappeared, now I manually click on them. And I am setting up my other scorpion right on the cliff edge, thinking I might be able to shoot down it. That is not the case at all, if you've played them before you'll know you can't actually shoot down a cliff that steep. So I'm wasting a lot of time, and th that is a decent target I chose there, that's alright. You can shoot into combat pretty safely if the enemy is blobbed up on one side like that. And thank god it did put me in the lower tier game, because if, it, if this was even, let's say, tier 5 to tier 7, I would probably be dead by now, because those archers would have just shot me in the fucking head. Because I didn't even know that you could undeploy so damn quickly and redeploy. I thought you had to play Solar Scorpions because Whip allowed you to undeploy and redeploy very quickly. But it turns out they just fucking do that. <laughs> they just do that by themselves. Uh, but the speed buff is very useful with the Whip ability. And I guess if you did use deployables, such as stakes and uh, barricades and Keltros, well, not Keltros, because that's a one second thing as well. But the other shit. It would be pretty handy, but I just don't use that. I just don't use that. I think anyone who uses snakes is a cunt. Even when I use them on my catapults, it's to be a giant cunt. <laughs> Still trying to shoot down that hill, figuring it out. But it's not working very well. <laughs> so, I am on the move. I don't even remember what my plan was here. Hopefully something good. But trust me, the next video is better. <laughs> because I learned from my mistakes. This first video, yeah. I just thought it would be interesting to show how I learn units. Obviously, the first game I always get my ass kicked. As you can t tell from this, it's uh, <laughs> it's interesting. And I just happened to be lucky enough to be tier 5, so at least if they did get close, my infantry would probably just kill their whole team. But, uh, I don't even think anyone attacks me this whole game. It's just me trying to figure out how to shoot shit. And it's not working very well. And I think everyone should go back and view their first few games. It's really uh, morale boosting because you can have a really bad game and then you go back and watch your first gameplay videos and you go, well, at least I'm not that shit anymore. <laughs> I'm slightly better than that. I don't fucking spend my whole game trying to shoot down cliffs and shit. And just when I say that, that shot down the cliff was actually pretty decent. Unfortunately, I did lose line of sight. But I got that cunt right in the back. And it looks like I discovered the fire at will button, which is always important to know where it is. You do want to manual aim when you can, but for those first few shots, the auto aim is pretty damn good. And I'm going down to this hill. I've learned from the cliff that, you know, it's a pain in the ass to shoot from, but hills are pretty good. It looks like I'm finally getting used to the fire arc and when you deploy where it's going to actually aim. Because at the start, you could see I was setting the map and the fire arc was over there and the fire arc was over there. It was pretty fucked. 
but now I'm getting a bit better at it. Getting some good shots in here. Hopefully I know how to undeploy and redeploy very quickly so I can keep shooting at these guys. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, eh. <laughs> that's a good, yes, that's a decent fire arc again. Right there, should be able to get some damage in. It took me a while though, a bit slow. I am a bit quicker at it now. And this is where I test shooting into the back. I find that if you shoot, when, when the enemy meets up with your allies, if it's a side by side thing, you do hardly any friendly fire. Even shooting in the back is decent, but you will do a bit of friendly fire. So maybe get that first volley in or two volleys max and then stop firing because you kill so many of them in one or two volleys that any volleys after that just seem to kill your allies. Now the plan here was to scare away the archers so my scorpions could shoot at them. And it does very nice damage to these kind of blobbed units. Really hammers into them. Unfortunately Cav is coming for me so I am going to have to pull back. And this is where I learned something else. It takes me a while to figure out, I think, how the fuck did I lose so much health? What just happened? <laughs> I shot myself in the back. Alright. I fucking shot myself in the back. And there's going to be a lot of that. A lot of me just fucking shooting myself. Because I always think they'll be shooting over me. And it turns out that is not the case. So it's a bit different to protecting catapults. As in, you don't want your infantry directly in front and be shooting because you will fuck yourself up. I am a bit proud of myself at the end there. I really got the fire arcs lining up the right way. Important part of when you play Scorpions is to learn how to fucking face the right direction. <laughs> That's important on every unit, really. But I've got to give myself some fucking credit. So after clapping myself on the back for doing well with tier 5 and a tier 3, <laughs> tier 3 to tier 5 game, I start thinking how can I improve, so I look at my consumables, decide the Scor scorpion ones seem to do well, but maybe I should bring something on my infantry and of course I bring stakes, and I know I said anyone who brings stakes is a cunt, but it's different when I do it. <laughs> So I do end up going with them. And it's just a solid choice to protect your range units. And the fact that I can bring them on my swords and my scorpions can keep their range is very beneficial in my opinion. When it comes to deployment, I wanted to be near mid as much as possible. And on flat ground, I didn't want to go up the top because there's too many hills. And I, I didn't enjoy in the cliffs and hills and shit. I didn't enjoy that in the last game where I had the higher ground but I couldn't shoot stuff below me. So I'm going for a bit more of a flat surface, hoping to shoot units you know, in mid or that bottom forest. It also starts me off near the flag, which will help me a lot. And I can trust myself to hold the flag. When it comes to trusting allies to hold the flag, uh, I don't <laughs> give them any credit. The reason is, it's, they got shit to do, they're tier 3 to tier 5 as well, so that they're not really, you know, they might not even know what the watchtower does. And they don't want to be sitting around doing jack shit, they will probably want to get in on the action and go fucking ballistic like I do. So I don't blame them. So when I play range, I hold the flag myself, instead of being some cunt going, no team, no team, that's like... This is one thing I do love, is when someone goes three archers and you don't have that much infantry on your team and the archers get run over of course and they go, noob, noob team! It's like, bring your own protection cunt. Just bring one spear unit or one pike unit. Bring your own fucking protection instead of having a fucking whinge. And the whole thing is, if you've ever protected archers, you probably will know that a lot of them when you do go in to protect them, turn around and just fucking nail you right in the back. So, I'm always a bit hesitant when it comes to protecting range. That is why I always do bring one infantry unit, no matter what range I am playing. 
Because I understand why people wouldn't want to protect them. I don't like getting shot in the fucking back. <laughs> and I guess they don't either. So I bring my own dudes to shoot in the back. That's my goal. Shoot myself. Now if you looked at the minimap, our allies have scouted around the forest. There's no enemies in there, so I'm feeling pretty confident I can move up here and get some good shots in. I do not remember if that is the case. <laughs> we'll find out. We, some, some, at some point in the game, we'll find out. Any moment now. I probably should be able to shoot those archers. Any moment now. Oh yeah, here we go. And I fucking fucked up the fire up. Oh no, that's alright. That's all right. I can see shit. It keeps disappearing because the guy is running away. The guy that was spotting did run away a bit, so I can't really see shit. And this is also a case of where it's good to have your own infantry. I can send them forward to spot for my scorpions, and I'm only risking my own shit. I don't have to rely on anyone else doing it. I do set this one up to shoot at those Romans, but line of sight is lost. I'm not sure what was spotting them. I'm not even sure if I'm doing the spotting at this stage. It's probably some other kind. Now one thing I have noticed is when you are shooting at max range, there is a lot of misses on these guys. And that is a pain in the ass. I find when I manually clicked on them, it did a bit more. But when I was just letting them fire at will, they were fucking missing left, right and center. Because I'm guessing it's like the catapults, if you auto aim onto a unit, it's it will just overshoot and undershoot all the time. You have to manually shoot catapults or else you're not going to get anywhere and that might be the same for these guys when it comes to max distance they seem damn accurate when the units are closer but at max distance they are missing a lot you just need to tell them fire on this unit because it's in the middle of the enemy and that way if it goes left right forward or back it will be fucking hitting something anyway hopefully even if it is the fucking dirt Anyway, I am pulling back. I don't want to get the range too close to me. Or should I say their arch is too close to me. So I'm pulling back to get that max distance. And this little corridor here is pretty damn safe. Unfortunately, I did deploy a bit too close to the enemy. And I did think that my spears and pike allies would hold the front. But they ran away. So I'm starting to move back a little bit more now. And that's one thing I find very useful with these dudes. Since you have the range superiority over the archers on the enemy team, you can just keep retreating and then shooting into them, keep retreating and shooting into them, slowly wearing them down. And the minute I see this pike guy is running away, I decide to put on my big boy pants. I want my scorpions to get shots in. And I ain't, I ain't scared of no tier 3 motherfucker, right? <laughs> I will fuck you up, bro. Yeah, you better run. You better run. And my scorpions are shooting them in the back while they run away. Hopefully drawing them into combat. I do friendly fire myself a little bit here, I'm pretty sure. So I do tell my scorpions, can you shoot the shit at the back? And not into my back? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, 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 shit happens. And now I'll get them to blast these pikes right in the face. I've got that whip ability. He's tier 3, I'm tier 5. Now, the catapults on my team wants me to go back at this stage. She goes, Jonah B! Jonah B! And to me, that means go forward at, <laughs> at all costs. Make sure you definitely go forward. Because I don't listen to people. <laughs> if you fucking tell me to do something, you know. You know I'm doing the fucking opposite. So I tell him to be. You be, bro. You be all the way back at base. Let me handle this shit. I've got things under control. I'm going to go forward and fuck everyone up. Because I don't want him to be worried about anything. I think he should just sit back at base. Chill out. Have a margarita. You know. Have a good time, bro. Have a good time, bro. And the second thing he types is rip Nikki. So now I have to go save Nikki. Looking around the fucking map. Where's Nikki? Oh, that must be the person getting fucked up over there. I have to go save them now because <laughs> I have to make everything wrong. It's like that hold the beer thing. That sums me up. 
hold my beer, you know? That's fucking mean. Where someone goes, no one could possibly do this. Well, I'm, I'm going to fucking try. <laughs> Besides, I just love to prove people fucking wrong. Oh, Nikki's dead. Well, I, now I have to at the least attempt to save this person. Just so I can go, well, you weren't fucking right about that shit, were you? <laughs> and then this Pike dude saying, Jonah, back! Back! Which, oh, now I have to go forward. <laughs> There's no fucking two ways about it. I have to go forward. Everyone wants me to go back. People are saying Nikki's fucking definitely dead. Man, I'm going to try my fucking darnest to save the cunt. So I was set up here, got a few pot shots in, but as you can see, I was a bit too late to save good old Nikki. Unfortunately they've eaten the fucking dust and I'm about to lose line of sight. I do try to set up stakes here and I cancelled it at the last few seconds which was kind of annoying. But the funny thing is I did get some good shots in so it has paid off coming up to this position and quite honestly there's such a narrow gap for them to try to run through I could probably fuck them up. I do retreat a bit here because they might come from the left hand flank and I'm not too worried about them squeezing past me because of that whip ability on my infantry should be enough to cut them off. And there is open ground and my stakes are blocking off the non-open ground so I am sending the infantry forward to spot while my scorpion set up a bit further back. This way they have two options, try to kill the stakes and then my scorpions can shoot them or try to go through the open area where my scorpions can also shoot them. And if they do go through the open area, I can always flank them. And then of course my units can still get their fire off. Here he comes now, he's going straight through the stakes bloody hard to see in the forest and now my scorpions start laying into them I tried to just keep in distance to keep that line of sight up and it worked a charm it fucking worked a charm so the lesson here kids is don't listen to anyone <laughs> it leads to shit like this this is the best moment of this game for me and it's all because I did the opposite of what people told me so when your parents tell you <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Do whatever your parents say because they actually care about you. Random people on the internet probably don't give a shit. So one thing you should learn is, yeah, trust your parents. <laughs> if someone tells you on the internet to do something fucking stupid, probably don't do it. Anyway, back to the game. So as you can see so far, well, this is my uh, little review on Scorpions. They are kind of... They're fun to play, I find that they're very enjoyable to play. It's a kiting kind of tactic with them. You always want to stay at max range. You're not hammering people like you would with barrage from archers or with catapults. But you just nip away at them and keep that max distance and basically just annoy the fuck out of the enemy. And it's a reliable unit. It's, it's kind of like catapults in that regard where they can hit any tier it's going to do damage because their damage is so strong it's just that they have a limited amount they fire at per time per hit should I say and you don't really want to get in range of say slingers or archers or any of that painful stuff you want to use your range to harass them and then retreat so once again, just like Catapults, it's one of those units that is good when you're fighting higher tiers, especially. Because, let's say you're infantry and you go versing higher tiers, it's usually not a great thing for you. But with these kind of units, they can damage them from a safe distance while hitting them pretty hard. Unlike Slingers who can do very well against units their same tier but when it comes to higher tier units you start just dropping off in damage so this is probably a unit I will play a fair bit once we go into open beta which is happen happening on the 22nd for you guys who don't know we are going into open beta on the 22nd and uh, Carthage is coming out with the war elephants 
I think scorpions will do well against the war elephants. Get some big fucking bolts right into them. Right into that fucking elephant. And catapults should be doing well against them. You'd think a big boulder hitting them in the face would really hurt. Unfortunately, there's too many bugs on the catapults at the moment. But the next patch is coming out. It might fix that. Apparently, spears do well against them as well. Which was interesting because I thought if you were going to have elephants, the one thing they would... Hopefully they are decent against pikes. That's all, all I'm going to say. When I heard they were poor against uh, spears, I just presumed that pikes also fuck elephants up. Which just means there's another thing that Kanani, are, um, Kanani pikes are going to wreck. And at this stage, we are going into open beta. I have to choose one or two factions. I think I have to go with the Greeks. Just so powerful. Every command is fucking good. And they're going to wreck the new faction. So they already wrecked it. Fuck it, they already wreck everyone. And now they're going to wreck people more. So the Greeks are locked down as one of the factions I will be playing. I only want to play one or two. I don't have enough time to level up every single faction. I, I've tried that multiple times. It just takes too long. I wouldn't be able to cover all these units. So now it's a hard choice between the Romans and the Barbarians. And the fact that the Barbarians don't have a Archer Commander at the moment is kind of annoying. I do like Versi. I do like Arminius. I like their Cav. And the infantry is okay. But it's probably not enough for me to play Barbarians. I'm not too sure because I do enjoy that playstyle when you do have Cav and Infantry. I just wish you could use the Archers on their team. And that is not coming... Well, we don't know if that is coming out on Open Beta. They did say they were making a commander for the Barbarians to use the Archers. But there hasn't been any confirm confirmation on the release of that. And as for the Romans, you, you, well, when the catapults get fixed, it'll be great. The scorpions seem pretty awesome. The infantry is reliable. The cav, well, I haven't played too much Scipio cav, but the cav is, eh, it's, it's playable. So everything is playable on the Romans. While the barbarians, you have a lot of units that I just don't think are that great, such as war dogs and archers. So I am leaning a bit closer to the Roman faction. There will there is some benefits of the Barbarians, which is Versi. He's fucking just awesome. And just to jump back into the game a bit, you'll notice I shot the fuck out myself. Like I said, the second game, uh, I thought I would still shoot over myself, still learning these units. But you got to admit, for a unit I haven't played before, it's pretty damn strong. And I've played a lot of War Dogs, I still can't fucking get the hang of them. Maybe I'm just not playing them right. I used to be great with them when they were overpowered. <laughs> now they're a bit weak sauce. The new Felksman I haven't tried, so maybe I should give that a tr try before I choose between the Barbarians and the Romans. Now, I did promise you guys one more game, but unfortunately I have to run off. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up and all that shit. And give me your thoughts between, between the Barbarians and the Romans. Because I already know the Greeks are the fucking greatest faction. Anyway, yeah, see you later.